What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Crypto Night. I am Elmina, your host. Today, like usual, we'll be looking at the charts, especially my favorites. And also, we'll be discussing our previous drawings of the flags we learned about yesterday. We're going to recap, go over what happened and what we learned about that flag. So let's start. Of course, we'll go always with the king Bitcoin. And after our big crash, which is expected, uh, some people speculate possibilities again that it would be $61,000 uh, when it comes to the how far it might continue to fall. But I think that's sufficient. I mean, it was either there or there. One of the two. So 66 is a good drop. I think we can continue upward. You know, not exactly smooth ride from here on but continue upward and it is going upward we're back at sixty nine thousand seven hundred and fifty three dollars it is 902 p.m eastern standard time it is 3 15 2024 and bitcoin continues to move up define our odds everybody's talking about it's gonna crash all the way to twelve thousand dollars no no take it easy bro we're making money right now all right so let's continue Tezos, Tezos, same thing, same chart, bounce, did we trace to that part of the flag, let's go XLM, XLM, also of course just like yesterday retraced, hit the bottom of that flag right there, retraced perfectly, bounced up as it should, XRP, same thing, now when we first spoke about XRP retracing, I think we spoke about it at this level right here. That it had retraced down here, but now it came all the way down to the second point that I thought it would hit, and it did hit. And now it's bounced and it's headed up. What else we got? This is Shiba Inu, Shiba Inu. I still believe, I did, I did think it was gonna come down here, which it did. I remember bouncing from here, I guess, and then came all the way down, but yeah. It can still come down to here. Don't fool yourself. It can still go down to 23, 29. But if it bounced there, that's a still a great point to great point to bounce from. Let's go here. Neo, Neo, same thing. We chased two. Wait a minute, Neo. All right there. Yeah, I guess it would be. Let me see. Let's close up Neo just to make sure. No, Neo got some ways, some ways to go down. If it is supposed to go down. But I think that's sufficient. That's the same pattern everybody else has. So go Neo. What do we have? Uh, this is Gala Games. Gala Games did retrace to there, which is perfect. That's exactly where it should retrace to. And then, of course, in extreme measures, I mean, the worst case scenario would be down here two four cents or so Let's see flare of course flare not only did it close it continues to close and drop it up and down that thing just makes sure it, conf it confirms the close let's see what we got here dash odd of course this is the oddest one but did the same pattern you see it Comes down, closes this off. Could go a bit, a bit lower to $34. And then who knows if it continues. Maybe even all the way down here to $30. But first, upside. Yes. So let's go to Casper. Beautiful. Same thing. See? See it everywhere. Same pattern dropped now it's down here to the retracement bam beautiful bounced off just like everybody else following the same thing bitcoin's doing big loop bounced off of the bottom of the flag now headed up but i would have said i would have preferred i guess if we're gonna have a drop to close up down here at sixty three thousand two hundred and forty two dollars but if that's it that would be fantastic $5,620 is a perfect place to bounce from. 
I say. So let's continue. Last one. Amp. Amp. Ooh. Of course, Amp had a monster jump. And then came all the way back. The question is, is that sufficient? Right? Is that little drop sufficient to count? Or does it have to come down here to 0.007384? Not sure. But it did, did come down with everybody, right? When it came down to here, it triggers. That's normal. Went up, then came straight down to that first stop that was possible. And then the second stop that's possible was what I just read off. So we're done with the charts for today. Let's move on to the drawings and learn from the structure. So let's begin our class. And I believe, I believe we started with XLM. And let's get this, this, what is this one again? This flag is called the grazing I forgot the dang name, y'all. The bronchosaurus flag. And the bronchosaurus it, flag. The bronchosaurus. So, Clash, what was the name of this flag? That's right. The grazing bronchosaurus flag. Let's put the artwork back up that we drew yesterday. Bam! There it is. The grazing bronchosaurus. Well, here's one thing. I did kind of hit where the bottom was on the tree. But I totally missed where the tree was supposed to be. So let's see if I can remove the tree out of here and draw where the tree really is. All right, let's get this guy going. So where the tree is that the bronchiosaurus is grazing on is here that's your tree right there now it might be a little okay that's a little too weird let's not do that tree let's try it again. okay so the tree is here That looks wrong. That looks wrong. Let's <laughs> not use that tree. Let's try again for the tree. <laughs> so the tree that the Brachiosaurus is nibbling on. Oh, this is not going to be good. <laughs> That's not easy either. Let's try this again. <laughs> We're going to need an artist on this show. So the tree that the Brachiosaurus is nibbling on is here. Which is, oh, let me put my bed back up. Okay, it's here. Which is also called the bull flag. This is... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's something. Okay, <laughs> all right, it's all right, all right, all right. So, it's <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Uh, and then get rid of all oh Jesus Christ okay let's try from here all right so let's do our bronchiosaurus back again our bronchiosaurus is here <laughs> and here we go yeah oh 
Uh huh. <laughs> okay, there he is. He has a smiley face on. Now, I'm going to draw where the tree is, which is maybe if I can illustrate more <laughs> how this structure might look. Yeah, I can work with that. It's like a squid. All right, cool. So we got our grazing bronchosaurus on the tree, which also becomes when you remove all this um, stuff becomes your bull flag. The bull flag, right? So you get the grazing bronchosaurus first that's nibbling on a tree. But when you take this guy, there's your bull flag right there. That's what we're looking for. Not exactly where I put it, of course, but similar, similar. So let's move on to XRP. Same structure, right? Do you see the drop? There's your drop right there. And then we're going to continue to con do the rest of the flag. You see it? Okay, cool. So now you know what happens. When you see the grazing bronchosaurus fly, start and com complete the actual bronchosaurus, then you know what's coming next. What, come, what comes next is this massive drop to the downside, right? Right after the bronchosaurus. You see the bronchosaurus, you sell at the top. You sell anywhere from here to here. You sell. Let that thing drop. Pick it up anywhere here, and then you're ready to ride. All right, so that's where we're at now. That's what I see coming from the grazing bronchiosaurus flag. And what we must learn, class, is that the bronchiosaurus tells us when it's time to sell. There's your Bart Simpson flag, right? So what happened? We're talking about the possibility of of the second ear missing, or the or the um, missing this drop but if you look at this retracement i actually drew the ear in the wrong place i drew it a little bit too low therefore it's not lining up with here with this other one here so this ear should begin here so if i can grab this guy and delete him i will put the ear where it's supposed to go right here right and then you're gonna get your second ear right here. Bart and flag. See, it did take a drop. And um, I may have drawn this last spike here a little too low. Or I shouldn't have drawn, drew that spike at all, actually. So straight drop there. And then it becomes the ear. Maybe we'll expect some dancing around right here. Now, let me tell you why. Because I found another uh, Bart Simpson flag I want to show you which illustrates exactly what I what we were talking about when we first put this guy up the drop right the second this this second line appearing on there well somebody did it who did this Casper there it is that's a completed Bart Simpson flag you got the ear which I drew too low as well but comes up does all the spikes, comes down and then creates the ear. Do you see the ear? Fantastic. And there it is, completed one. Now, if if we're talking about the other one, we it was up here when we spoke about the possibility of the second line coming down, completing it, right? Well, there you see the whole complete flag. The ears, the head, the ear. It's all there. So you can see what happens. Now, in this scenario, you actually have a nice, healthy range that you can sell in this scenario because it gives you so many. So top and then look at all these sell points that come up. All these possibilities for selling before you get to this last drop right here. Right? You don't want to be here. No. All right, so you want to sell here. Now, when you see the structure coming and you start seeing all this ziggy, zaggy, zaggy, beginning to curve again, 
Calling this is impossible. Not many people can do it. Okay, that's this is pros. You know, you can actually guess very close to that, and I've done it in this bull market, but it's real difficult, right? So this even worse. These two little spikes are worse, right? This you can call possibly, but still hard. Now, as you see it coming back down, then you know you 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 have to make sure you sell at this range here. So you see it coming back down. Once you see it hit this spike, you should know it's sell time. Even if you sell until here, there's still massive profits on this flag. And then you know what's coming. Massive drop to complete this flag. So learn it. Know how it looks. This is, is very important to understand that these structures, this these, these charts talk to whoever's reading them, okay? That's what I can say. <laughs> I can't wait till child readers look at this video. They're gonna go berserk. There's no more sushi the flag. <laughs> the red rooster. The red rooster. All right. The red rooster flag. Let's not forget the red rooster. Let's see what it's done so far. All right. Cool. Last time we spoke about the red rooster, we saw this drop here, where it shot back up, and we were in this zone here. So what is it doing now? It's it's, it's just completing the last portion of the rooster which we had our curve already starting to form. I just drew this all incorrectly. Let me see if I can get you a better, a better drawing. Bye-bye. Okay, so let me see if I could draw this rooster for you a little bit better. But if you notice, there's some curvature already happening here, which is the head. And then, It looks like Big Bird. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, it's the Red Rooster, or also known as the Big Bird flag, okay? That's what it looks like. Remember. So, in order to call this flag, it's quite difficult, but it's a very simple thing to do. Once you understand the Big Bird flag, I mean, the, the Red Rooster flag. <laughs> All right, when you see these three steps here, you know it's go time. This is your zone right here. Let's light it up for the people. Yeah. And, bam. and this is your zone right here. Sell zone, bam, right there. All right, you sell in this zone so you don't hit this one, but you still have another time to sell before this big, massive drop happens this is a telltale sign of the red rooster flag also known as the big bird flag put it in your books understand what happens why is this important because once it's done with these kind of structures then you see the magic but it's important to understand what happens prior to the magic what are the telltale signs of go time what are the telltale signs of moon time and when these structures are completed is when you see the magic happen yeah yeah so we're actually quite close right so all these things to happen look at that what is it the 18 about a week or so about a week before the end of this month I would say on the 29th, we'll, on the 29th, we'll be blasting off right here. What is this? The 24th. Yeah, so see, my flag's a little, a little too tight maybe, who knows? But I would say it's quite proportionate, so I would say this is pretty good. So, on the 23rd, 23rd, it's go time, it's magic time right there. All right, there's no, there's no denying it, man. We'll be up here, pow, 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 pow. As you go through this journey of the crypto world, you're gonna hear all kinds of people give their thesis, their, their, their ideas, their views on how they see the market. It's very important to understand that 
doesn't matter what everybody says and how they say it what matters is does the information make sense if the information makes sense it don't matter if it's unicorn horses wiener dogs Bart Simpson flags rooster flags or big bird flags if it tells you what's coming it's valuable this is El Minor. Till next time.